know, one of the most important and perhaps most fascinating things about making recordings, particularly if they're long-term projects, is um, the genesis of them and the way that that gradually changes, which is what's happened here. Um, my idea in the first place was to do a selection of the Songs Without Words interspersed with major works uh, of Mandelson. It was then released and described as Volume 1 of the Songs Without Words, which of course means we have a Volume 2, uh, which is equally fascinating music. The only thing that limited us from doing the whole of the set of Songs Without Words in the first place was the length of a CD. In addition to the Songs Without Words on the second volume, the one that I hope that everyone will buy, um, if, if you enjoyed volume one, I'm sure you'll be wanting to enjoy volume two as well. Um, on there is some other wonderful works by Mendelssohn for piano solo. Uh, the Variation Series, which is one of his greatest works, I think, uh, and also the Fantasia on the Last Rose of Summer, uh, which is an extraordinary original piece, but feels like an improvisation. Uh, by Mendelssohn himself from that wonderful era of the of the 1830s and 40s, and the um, there is something that's actually an arrangement of a piece by Mendelssohn, a, an orchestral work by Mendelssohn, uh, that's actually been arranged by Rachmaninoff as a bonus to this wonderful selection of music. Thank you very much. <laughs>